Hey everybody, Jeff Lindsay here if you don't recognize me for some reason. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video post, um, but I'm pretty excited to be getting back into it. Uh, as you can tell, I've kind of gone all out in terms of video production. There's actually a bunch of lights here, but probably too, <laughs> too much. Um, so just to fill you in, uh, over the last several years, I've been working on a ton of open source uh, related to a project that I worked on in 2012 called Docker. Docker's turned out to be a pretty big hit. Right, the Docker Inc. is now valued at around a billion dollars, you know, after the project came out. And I've, I've contributed back and worked on some other stuff with them since, but it's always been a just a collaboration, right? I don't work for Docker um, as per my usual nature of being independent, but I have been working on just tons of really great uh, related open source projects and kind of unrelated, right? The space is much bigger. The problem domain is so much more than just the things that Docker does and the things immediately around it. Over the last few years, I've been, actually since 2012, I've been kind of on the edge of whether or not I want to keep working in tech. And that's sort of a long story for another video, but the one force that's been keeping me engaged um, is this problem space around Docker and all the related projects and kind of what this, you know, the fact that people are actually starting to get interested in it and there's been demand for people like me and my projects because of Docker um, has been really encouraging. And so it's made me want to keep going down this kind of rabbit hole, but it still feels like an uphill battle trying to bring out this, this vision of why I got involved in a project like Docker in the first place. I know I don't want to do a traditional startup. A lot of people are telling me, oh, you can raise money, oh, it's so easy, you know, and I don't doubt that, but I, I, I just don't want to do it. Um, uh, I'd much rather build what I think is missing in this space, something that actually allows people like me and other open source developers um, and my colleagues and stuff to actually do what we do best. Um, and that is, you know, I think of it as like a modern systems R&D lab. You know, this would allow me and my colleagues to explore and build what we believe needs to exist as open source without the pressures of a growth-based startup because it seems like that's kind of the only way you can do it. Um, but I've just noticed the dynamics of, of going down that path. It's really not, it's not that beneficial for the projects or for, um, you know, creativity. You hire all these really smart people and you kind of fit them into this product pipeline, this product roadmap that, you know, ultimately has to be geared towards more enterprise users and stuff like this because of the money involved. I've just realized after doing it, growing up in the Silicon Valley, the startup game just doesn't facilitate my goals uh, and my values, right? So this idea of, a, of a, an R&D lab, an independent R&D lab, um, it's not just R&D for R&D's sake, sort of, right? The whole point is um, to be able to explore and try different paths and not focus like on a product, single product or anything. Um, but there is a vision, right? There is an ideal with lots of room for exploration. And that exploration is what's important, right? To find the right way to do it, right? To slow cook software to um, you know, have things evolve with the community. But the hardest thing is to communicate everything that I've wanted to build and why and how it all fits together. And I've, I've been told that if I did that, um, you know, others might be actually willing to help out, right? I've been um, lucky enough to have lots of people contribute to my open source projects, sometimes help maintain them or take them over, um, which has been really great, but you know, there's no meta project, the thing that ties everything together. So I kind of to, so that's today I wanted to announce a sort of umbrella project um, that stands for everything that I'd like to build in the next 10 years. So thinking pretty long term here, um, you know, not not like a startup that we're going to try and flip or IPO in the next five years or something. Um, what's more is it brings together everything that I've worked on over the past 10 years as well. So it's really kind of a 20 year, you know, project. What I'm calling it is Mega Lift. Um, so just by giving it a name like I did with webhooks, it's now something that we can talk about and you know kind of evolve the idea together. So there's a lot to explain. I won't be able to do it in one video, but I will say that I won't be able to do it um, without your help. And uh, built into the structure of this project is a means of participation. In fact, so kind of the whole point of this project is participation because I know I can't do it alone. It's got to be more open. It's got to be more participatory. Anyway, I've, I've, I've met and worked with so many really awesome people 
um, that are willing to, that kind of get it and are interested in, in these things. And there's a ton of you that I've never met, but I've shown your enthusiasm for even like one or two of my projects. Um, and I'd like to invite you all to be a part of this. Like this is the thing that's gonna tie everything together and that we can kind of all come together as one community. So the first task for me is to provide more context uh, and details for the project, right? Um, for now, all I can say is it ties everything together. I know that's super vague, but I plan to share more with uh, a presentation that I'm working on um, that'll be online and, and actually will be live so that people can ask questions and stuff. So yeah, whether you're kind of eager to jump in, curious or don't know what the hell I'm talking about, um, I've set up a MailChimp that you can subscribe to. There should be a link uh, with this video. Um, and this will let me announce the presentation um, and other stuff, updates as things are getting started. In the meantime, feel free to get in touch with me on Twitter, on Program, um, or even share this video. But yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, sharing more soon. All right, thanks everybody.